Today we hear your favorite restaurant's dirty little secret. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Don't miss our very last live tour shows this year. We're playing four nights only, just before Thanksgiving in Phoenix, Albuquerque, NorCal, and SoCal. Get tickets while they last at RetLinkLive.com. Yes. Now as a society, we tend to trust restaurant workers. That's why whenever I got a rash, I head to my local Arby's kitchen and ask the cook for medical advice. Oh, smart. But is our trust misplaced? Are there things going down behind the scenes that we should know about and then wish we never knew about? Well, mm. today, we'll bear witness to the most disturbing true confessions the restaurant industry has to offer. It's time for Forgive Me, Father, for I Have Sinned. I hovered over your nachos and then broke wind. Okay, uh, not only did our mythical crew dig up actual highly disturbing restaurant worker confessions on the internet, but they also tracked down the actual waiters who made these confessions and they are here with us today Ooh. to spill the beans with one caveat. Every confession will be missing some crucial information. We're gonna guess what's missing from the confessions using these whiteboards and whoever loses the game will have to eat a restaurant salad with a hair in it. Great. Let's hear that first confession. Listen up, there have been plenty of lies that have gone around, scams somewhat might say saying that we're putting fingers in our chili. But listen, this ain't no Coney 2012 scam here. The only scam here is freshness and never frozen. I work at Wendy's and when people are rude to me, I put a blank in their frosting. <laughs> when somebody does what to you? When someone is rude to me. Just I, rude to you, you put blank, I put a in, blank their, in their frosty. Whoa. In their frosty, a blank. Should I take a something blank. from the hand motion? Seem to be, I mean, I've seen it. I, you know, just one, just, you just dip it in, take um, it out real quick. Okay, <laughs> you dipped it in. I was thinking something else, but now that it, I realize that it's a, it's a t put in, take out situation, I've got my question. My question. I've got, I've got, I've got my guess. It's the worst. I do thing question it. Okay. Uh, I got my guess as well. I'll go first. I'm gonna guess. Dip your finger in the frosty. Oh, we're on the same page. Link finger. Oh, we both said finger. Cause once you said dip, we thought finger. And what else are you gonna? I mean, there's other things you could dip in a frosty, but I mean, come on. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Incorrect. What? I work at Wendy's and when people are rude to me, I put a pickle in their frosty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you dip it in there. You did, oh, okay, okay. You get the juices in there. Uh, yeah, then you take it back out, because uh, they would know if the pickle stayed in there. Well, you know, they call a pickle the old green finger. Now, uh, because right. we both answered the right thing, who are you gonna give the point to? You gotta give it to somebody. No, no, that's it. I mean, honestly, I think neither of you got it. Oh, okay, all right. It's no big deal. We're off to a great start. Okay, let's hear our next confession, that, as if that wasn't creepy enough. Have you ever been serving salads to busy interns who are making orders for an entire office? I know that you're in a hurry, but would you treat your local serial killer the way you treat your neighborhood waitress? No because he has a knife, but so do I. I'm here to confess that after that lady sent back a salad that was perfectly fine, I mixed my blank blank into the salad. Uh, blank blank. My blank blank. And since there's two blanks and this is the second one, this is worth two points total. Actually, this is, worth pickle, two, pickle. this is worth two points because it's the second round, but I do like the way that you assumed it was because there was two blanks. Uh, My blank blank in a salad. What could she have that could go in a salad? I that, think it, yeah, I mean. And it has to be kind of unnoticeable because you don't want to expose yourself, do you? Of course not. Yeah, you need to be able to do it quickly. That didn't sound so that, like an appropriate question. So other, not, em, oh, other employees can't see you do it. That's what you're saying, right? Yeah, or, or the person who's then eating the salad. Um, uh, okay, I'm going out on a limb here. I've got a guess, but I don't know how confident I am. In this. All right, what's your guess? Still I said it. earwax. Oh, and I, I actually forgot about the my part when I wrote floor crouton. <laughs> Is that just a crouton from the floor? Bingo. So, what's the right answer? After a customer sent back a salad that was perfectly fine, I mixed my clipped nails into the salad. Ugh. Clipped nails. Clipped 
nails. Oh, oh my gosh. Otherwise known as a floor crouton. <laughs> floor crouton. I mean, <laughs> not I, even, it's not even from the body, listen, man. Listen, I clip my nails on the bathroom floor all the time, and Chrissy Watson, she's like, get floor croutons. Okay. She all hates right. it. All right. Uh, so, who gets the point? It's going to rat. Woo! Why? Because it's bodily function. Yeah, it's from well, the body, because man. because I pick my ears with my nails. <laughs> uh, that's true. There's probably some earwax in her. They're one and the same. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Rhett, you got two points. Let's hear our next confession. Howdy, partners. Howdy. I'm All right. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not interrupt me. I'm working. Sorry. <laughs> I'm right. the cowboy of failed health inspections, but you can call me Wonder Woman because I'm here to lasso some truth. So I'm here to confess, I work at <laughs> as you can tell by my accent, and I pick blank blank off of people's plates before they are taken out almost every day. It's gotta be pickable. It's gotta be pickable. That's, that narrows it down. But it's gotta be from somebody's plate as well. Uh, Floor crouton. Uh, pickle pickle. Um, I'm just trying to think of the kind of thing that I would feel compelled to pick off someone. This plate. seems normal to me. I, I'm much more comfortable with picking things off than putting things on. Um, and my guess is that something that I actually wouldn't be upset to find out about, French fries. Okay, we're still on the same page. French oh, you're fries. thinking French fries, okay. You were both thinking French fries? <laughs> well, the answer is I work at a t and I pick dead cockroaches off people's plates before they are taken out almost every day. Yeah. And then you eat them? What's that? No, I don't eat them. I take them off and I put them away in my special uh, drawer. We should have taken the hint when he said he was the health inspector. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, we we gave him too much credit. French fries, though. I mean, I, I'm, I'm comfortable kind, with this. Kind of like. Roaches. I would rather not have the cockroach on the plate either. First of all, I don't believe that. I just don't believe that that happens every day. You call me a liar? <laughs> I'm calling you an actor. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so no points for either Dang of us. It. Next confession. Can't sleep? Oh, why don't you just hop into your car and drive down to my place of work, where you can get a straight shot of processed meats and salty potatoes. Anyway, I'm here to confess. I work in a fast food place, and when a customer pisses me off, I blank a blank with a blank blank into their tacos. <laughs> Why yeah, that's I right. I blank a blank with a blank blank into their taco. Blank a blank with blank blank. Why is she Irish? Into their... <laughs> I was trying is to it, place it, and I it, couldn't quite do well, it. it was when she it's said fusion. She said potato. The fusion taco. <laughs> because it's a fusion taco, uh, she said. Yeah. It's, it's an Irish taco place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> blank a blank. Blood pudding taco. Corn blank, 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 blank cabbage. In the tacos. That was intense. Uh, Man, I'm gonna have to start to learn to cook. Uh, this is difficult. Is this expected? Oh, it's very difficult. difficult. I don't know how to spell two of the words that I'm putting on here. Okay. Here's, you want me to go first? Sure. I say, <laughs> I hock a loogie with my mouth in the tacos. <laughs> Wrong! So, oh, can I change my answer? Because I also said, hock a loogie. But I said what? with hard bits. You know how sometimes hold on, hold on, first you'll of all, hock a deep loogie and something hard will be in it? Hold on, first of all, you spelled hock the same way. You spelled loogie with an extra E. With an E, yeah. Yeah, mine kinda looks like loogie. Hock a loogie with my mouth. <laughs> Obviously not with your mouth. What else could you hock a loogie with? All right. Um, your nose? Oh, that's a farmer's blow. Not from an Irish farm. <laughs> <laughs> so right, what, well, what's the right answer? I work in a fast food place and when a customer pisses me off, I draw a penis with hot sauce in their tacos. <laughs> that shows them. You draw a penis with hot sauce? In their taco. Yes. The best revenge is penis art and everyone knows it. So, so only you know that it yeah, was yeah. in there. I, I, mean, I doubt anyone But in a way, don't that. they all know? Now, 
I will say that the word hard is in my answer. And the word mouth is in mine. <laughs> So I who mean, gets the point? I mean, I don't. Who's right? Who's hard or right? mouth? Hmm. Hard bits. My mouth. I'm gonna say that penis art can lend itself to look more like a mouth. So the that's, that's who I'm giving the points to. <laughs> right, you just got four points. Yeah, I did. Because they a hard Irish show. four. It's all because I recognized where, which, what she was going for with her character. All right. You got six points, but this last one is worth five, so I can't lose. <laughs> Let's make it worth six. Okay, okay, so maybe we tie. All right, bring out the last confession. I am an artist, as are all employees at Subway, <laughs> but creating art gets really stressful, so we have a unique way of blowing off steam at Subway. I'm here to confess my coworkers at Subway used to blank blank in the freezer with the blank. Oh, what? Not you, your coworkers. Uh, you know, whatevs. You didn't do you this. You didn't participate. Hey man, I'm not the one on trial here. <laughs> so you did participate. Blank blank, blank. in the freezer with the <laughs> blank? Freezer. Yeah. With the what can blank. you do in a freezer? Blank blank in a freezer with a blank. Blank blank in a freezer with a blank. Um it's a number of things you can do in a freezer with the blank. Um but my mind went to one place. <sighs> you wanna go first? I think your coworkers went in uh Make love in the freezer with the manager. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, freeze urine in the freezer with the ranch. But you know, like make Using a, the ranch to freeze the urine or just next to the ranch? They would mix urine in the ranch, then freeze it until they needed it, and then they thaw it out. Well, the real answer is my coworkers at Subway used to have sex in the freezer with the bread. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> I'm glad you won, man. Uh, I don't want any part of this. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, I mean, the, you're gonna give him the point. Is obviously. the manager's nickname the bread? <laughs> <laughs> because... Yes, manager, manager James T. Bread. <laughs> it's difficult to have sex with bread in a freezer. It's difficult uh, to have sex in a freezer. It's period. a lot easier to have sex with bread outside of the freezer. I don't sure. know. Of those two sentences, I found links to be sexier, so I'm giving <laughs> him the points. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, we tied. I'm in no way proud of it. Don't kink shame me. <sighs> okay, we tied, which means that I'm gonna make Link eat the salad with the hair in it in Good Mythical More. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name's Matthew. My name is Clay. And I'm Joe. And we're eating pig's brain at a hot pot restaurant in Shanghai, China. And it's time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Ah! People are doing it for fun now. Dinking sing it, boys. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us guess which mythical team members worked at what restaurant in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Don't miss out on our mythical mugs. Collect all three at mythical.com before they're gone forever.